Hello, so the first problem we're going to be solving today, or we're going to be solving a common diffusion problem today. This is for an MTE 207 at Cal Poly Pomona. So the problem we'll be solving is prob this problem right here. An FCC iron carbon alloy initially containing 0 0.20 weight percent carbon is carburized at an elevated temperature and in an atmosphere that gives a surface carbon concentration constant at 1.0 weight percent. If after 49 and a half hours the concentration of carbon is 0.35 weight percent and at a position of 4.0 millimeters below the surface, we want to determine the temperature at which the treatment was carried out. The first thing that we have to do is write down the equation. You can see right here we have the equation written down and we're writing it down in the form of 1 minus there the earth instead of the complement. We also want to write down what we know. We know that time is 49 and a half hours, the initial concentration, weight percent, weight percent, and the distance in meters. Moving on from there, we want to solve for the earth function or error function. And we put down once again the equation. We write down what we know here and here. Write down what we know here and here. And then we change this over here to z, just for simplicity's sake and since most calculators can't solve for this error function. So we'll get this in the form of ERFZ equals a number and for this problem we got 0 0.8125. Then what we have to do next is go to a table, most likely from a handout or the back of a book, and interpolate our value of z right here. Using our table to interpolate the value of z, we go like this, and in basic interpolation skills, we'll get z equals 0 0.93. Moving on from there, we're going to want to solve for d. Now we plug in again what we know, our distance squared, 4 times our value of z that we just got squared, and our time. And we want our time was given in hours, we need to convert this to seconds, so 1 hour is 3 1,600 seconds, and we solve, plug it in your calculator, and you get this number right here. Now we're looking for time, not for the diffusion constant. So what we need to do next is solve for T. To solve for the temperature at which D has the get above value, we're going to use the rearrange form from our textbook, Callister textbook, this equation is given. T equals the activation energy over Avogadro R times uh, natural log of d naught minus natural log of d. We have these two numbers. These are given in the back of the book from the table and we plug these in. Right here, right here, right here. Use r from the back of the book and we get t. And that's how you solve this very basic diffusion problem.